The Almighty God, the Creator of the universe, is speaking a profound word over your life today. He declares, I am the God of miracles. Believe in my power, and expect great things from me. I can do exceedingly, abundantly above all you can ask or imagine. These are not mere platitudes, but a thunderous proclamation of the boundless might and unwavering faithfulness of the divine. No matter how bleak your circumstances may appear, no matter how deeply the enemy has sought to blind you and make you forget the promises spoken over your life, the time has come for you to lift your eyes and behold the place God has been meticulously preparing for you. This is the season where you will finally understand the reason behind the arduous battles you have endured. The pain, the trials, the moments of utter exhaustion and despair, they have all been divinely orchestrated to bring you to this pivotal juncture, where you will stand in awe of God's sovereign plan unfolding before your eyes. So weary traveler, take heart. Though you may feel utterly spent, though your strength seems to have been depleted, this is precisely why God has you here. He knows your weakness, he understands the toll the journey has taken, and it is in this very moment of surrender that he will demonstrate the full extent of his power. No more striving, no more futile attempts to forge your own path, it is time to let go and allow the Almighty to take the reins. For it is in the surrender that true victory lies. Picture yourself standing at the threshold of this new chapter, this glorious destination that God has meticulously prepared for you. Imagine the awe and wonder that will fill your heart as the veil is lifted, and you finally comprehend the profound significance of the battles you have endured. The pain, the tears, the moments of utter despair, they will all fade into the background, replaced by a deep, abiding gratitude for the refining fire that has forged your character and positioned you for this incredible breakthrough. As you stand on the precipice of this miraculous new beginning, allow the weight of those words to wash over you, I am the God of miracles. Believe in my power, and expect great things from me. This is no empty promise, no mere platitude offered to provide temporary comfort. These are the words of the Almighty, the one who spoke the universe into existence, the one who parts the seas and moves mountains with the mere utterance of his voice. Believe, dear child of God, believe in the limitless power of your Creator. Dare to expect the extraordinary, the seemingly impossible, for our God specializes in defying human logic and rewriting the very laws of nature. He is not bound by the constraints of our finite understanding, his ways are higher, his thoughts deeper, his love more expansive than we can possibly fathom. So let go of your preconceived notions, your doubts, your fears. Silence the voice of the enemy that has sought to blind you and make you forget the destiny that awaits. Instead, open your heart and your mind to the miraculous work God is about to unleash in your life. For you are standing on the precipice of a new chapter, a place of unparalleled blessing and breakthrough that has been meticulously prepared for you. Picture it, feel it, allow your spirit to be filled with holy anticipation. The battles have been fierce, the journey arduous, but you have persevered. And now, the Almighty is about to reveal the profound significance of it all. The pain, the tears, the moments of utter despair, they will all pale in comparison to the glory that is about to be unveiled. So take a deep breath, my friend, and prepare to be amazed. For you are about to witness the hand of God move in ways that will leave you breathless, that will ignite a fire within your soul and fill your heart with a joy that transcends all understanding. The enemy may have tried to blind you, to make you forget the promise spoken over your life, but God is about to shatter those chains of darkness and usher you into a place of unparalleled freedom and abundance. Trust in the plan of the Almighty, for He is a God of perfect timing and impeccable precision. He has orchestrated every step of this journey, every trial, every moment of darkness, to bring you to this pivotal juncture. And now, as you stand on the threshold of this miraculous new beginning, know that the fight was not in vain. The pain, the struggle, the moments of utter exhaustion, 
they have all been part of the refining process, shaping you into the warrior, the overcomer, the faithful servant that God has destined you to be. So take heart, dear one, and let go of the burden you have been carrying. The time has come to surrender, to release your grip on the reins and allow the Almighty to take full control. For it is in that beautiful, liberating act of surrender that you will find your true strength, your unwavering peace, and your unshakable hope. As you breathe through the final moments of this transition, trust that the God who has brought you this far will not abandon you now. He is faithful, he is true, and he is about to do something so extraordinary in your life that it will leave you in awe of his power and majesty. The mind-numbing clarity, the lightness of spirit, the profound sense of peace, these are the harbingers of the miraculous breakthrough that is about to unfold. So be patient, my friend, be steadfast in your faith, and know that you are standing on the precipice of something truly remarkable. The enemy may have tried to steal your joy, to rob you of your hope, but the Almighty is about to restore all that was lost and pour out blessings upon you that will leave you breathless. This is your moment, your time to shine. The God of the universe, the creator of all things, is speaking directly to you, declaring, I am the God of miracles. Believe in my power, and expect great things from me. I can do exceedingly, abundantly above all you can ask or imagine. These are not mere words, but a thunderous proclamation of the limitless possibilities that lie before you. So embrace this season of surrender, of letting go, and allow the Almighty to work His miraculous wonders in your life. For you are about to witness the unfolding of a divine plan that will leave you in awe, that will ignite a fire within your soul and fill your heart with a joy that can only come from the very throne of God. Trust in the process, my friend, for the God who has brought you this far is faithful, and He will not abandon you now. The battles may have been fierce, the journey arduous, but you have persevered, and now you stand on the precipice of a new chapter, a place of unparalleled blessing and breakthrough that has been meticulously prepared for you. So take a deep breath, lift your eyes to the heavens, and prepare to be amazed. For the God of miracles is about to move in your life in ways that will leave you breathless, that will ignite a fire within your soul and fill your heart with a joy that transcends all understanding. Believe, my friend, believe in the power of the Almighty, and expect great things, for He can do exceedingly, abundantly above all you can ask or imagine. Child, the battle truly does begin in the mind. It's a constant spiritual war that rages within us, as we wrestle with our thoughts, emotions, and perceptions of the world around us. But when we make the conscious choice to renew our minds daily through the reading and study of God's Word, we unlock the power to see things from His perspective. We gain the very mind of Christ, equipping us to combat any attack or scheme of the enemy through the transformative strength of the Holy Spirit. As we draw near to our Heavenly Father, He draws near to us. We must humbly come before Him, cleansing our hands from sin and purifying our hearts from the double-mindedness that so easily ensnares us. It's in this posture of surrender and intimacy that we find the clarity, wisdom, and discernment we need to navigate the complexities of life. Child, I know it can be so unbelievably hard to keep trusting God when you can't make sense of what's happening. When it feels like He has forgotten you or abandoned you in your time of greatest need. The loneliness, the feeling of being overlooked or of being mere collateral damage in someone else's situation, these are the heavy burdens that can threaten to crush our spirits and shake our faith to the core. And then there are the moments of feeling betrayed, of sensing the unfairness of a circumstance, of being taken advantage of. The temptation to give up on obedience, to stop putting in the effort, can be overwhelming. Witnessing others surge ahead while you feel stuck, let down time and time again, with no end in sight to the struggle, it's enough to make anyone want to throw in the towel. There are days when you feel like you'll never catch a break, never get a second chance. When you've been knocked down so hard, 
you're not sure you have the strength to get back up one more time. In those moments, the weight of it all can be paralyzing. But child, please hear me when I say that faith is predicated on trust, not understanding. Believing is grounded in the unseen, not the seen. I know it's so difficult to make sense of right now, but I urge you to hang on. God is with you, God is for you. He is good, and He is working all things for your good, even when you can't perceive it. This season of waiting may feel like a burden, but I assure you, it is a gift wrapped in the glory of the Father. In the midst of your confusion and pain, He is creating something remarkable. Just wait until you see what's on the other side of this trial. Massive, energetic shifts are coming as a result of the inner work you are doing. It's healthy to slow down, to contemplate and reflect. Take time to observe the changes unfolding in your life, and realize just how far you've come and how much you've grown. In the face of unimaginable adversity, you have refused to back down. You've kept moving forward with a growth mindset, and as a result, you are now manifesting blessings at lightning speed. The God who loves you is going to heal you, restore what you've lost, and provide all the resources you need. Blessings and favors are coming for you right now, can you feel it? Type, Amen, if you believe it, child, for it is the truth. I know the wait has been long and the journey arduous. But I want you to know that your faith has not gone unnoticed. The Lord sees the determination in your heart, the resilience in your spirit, the unwavering trust you've placed in Him even when it's been the hardest thing to do. And He is honored by your perseverance. This is a pivotal moment, a turning point in your life. The breakthrough you've been believing for is just around the corner. The enemy has tried to steal your joy, your peace, your very identity. But he has not succeeded, for you have chosen to fix your eyes on the one who is greater. You have refused to be shaken, to be defined by your circumstances. And in doing so, you have tapped into a wellspring of divine strength that is now propelling you forward with unstoppable momentum. Child, the battle may have started in your mind, but the victory has already been won in the spiritual realm. God has equipped you with everything you need to walk in triumph. The word he has spoken over you will come to pass, the promises he has made will be fulfilled. All that remains is for you to keep believing, to keep pressing forward in faith. The road ahead may still have its challenges, but I want you to know that you are more than a conqueror. You are an overcomer, a warrior in training whose scars will one day be badges of honor. So hold your head high, straighten your shoulders, and march onward with unwavering confidence. The enemy has been put to flight, and your breakthrough is imminent. Child, the wait is almost over. The Father's timing is perfect, and His plan for your life is unfolding with precision. Though you may not understand it all right now, trust that He is working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail for your good. Soon, you will look back on this season and marvel at his faithfulness, his goodness, his perfect provision. So do not grow weary. Do not lose heart. For the battle has already been won, and the victory that is yours will be a testimony to the transformative power of the Holy Spirit at work in your life. Amen and Amen. The blessings are coming, child. Hold on just a little while longer.